Let's talk about reducing your electricity bill. Are you tired of wasting money on high energy costs? Well, I'm here to tell you that by implementing these three simple points, you could be saving a significant amount of cash each month. Firstly, with a simple adjustment to your thermostat, you could save up to $180 per year. That's a lot of money to keep throwing away. Secondly, have you considered switching to LED light bulbs? Not only do they last longer, but they can save you up to $75 per year. And finally, did you know that unplugging electronics when they're not in use can save you up to $100 per year? It may seem like a small change, but it adds up over time. So, why continue to throw your hard-earned money away on high-energy bills when you could be putting it towards something more important? By making these three simple changes, you could be saving up to $355 per year. Don't let your electricity bill drain your bank account any longer. Let's take control of our finances and start saving today. Welcome folks, it's your efficiency expert, Kay Waterloo, and I've got some hot tips on how to save some serious cash on your energy bills. Listen up, because this could be the difference between you having some extra cash in your pocket or throwing it down the drain. Let's get straight to the point. You're losing money every month because of those pesky gaps around your frames and doors. It's like throwing your money away little by little, and it adds up to a significant amount over time. You might think those gaps are insignificant, but they're the reason your energy bills are skyrocketing. It's like paying for a leaky bucket of water, and that's just madness. But don't worry, my friends, because I have the solution to your problem. By sealing up those gaps, you'll keep the warm air inside and the cold air out. It's like putting on a warm coat in winter or getting a hug from a loved one. It feels great, and you're saving money at the same time. Who doesn't love that? Now, let's talk numbers. Imagine you're spending an extra $50 a month on your energy bill due to those gaps. That's $600 a year. That's like a vacation to a tropical island or buying that fancy new gadget you've been eyeing up. But you're giving it away to your energy provider. It's time to take that money back and put it where it belongs, in your pocket. And let's not forget about the environmental benefits of reducing your energy usage. By sealing up those gaps, you're doing your part to combat climate change. It's like being a superhero. You're saving the world and saving money at the same time. Now, some of you might be thinking, I don't have the time or money to fix those gaps. Well, I call BS on that excuse. It's like saying you don't have time to put on a seatbelt before driving. It's a small investment that will pay off big in the long run. You're saving money in the environment. It's a win-win situation. And here's my personal favorite analogy. Think of sealing up those gaps like getting a haircut. Sure, you could let your hair grow long and wild, but eventually, it's going to cost you more money to maintain it. The same goes for those gaps. Sure, you could ignore them, but eventually, it's going to cost you more in energy bills. It's time to take control of your energy bill and start saving money. So, how can you make this work in real life? It's simple folks. Get yourself some weather stripping or caulk and seal up those gaps. It's like putting on a band-aid. It's a small fix that makes a big difference. And if you're feeling extra handy, why not try installing some new frames or doors? It's like giving your house a facelift and you're saving money at the same time. In conclusion, it's time to stop throwing your hard-earned cash down the drain. Sealing up those gaps might seem like a small thing, but it can make a big difference in your bank account. So, take my advice and start sealing up those gaps today. Your wallet and the environment will thank you. And remember folks, saving money doesn't have to be complicated. It's as easy as sealing up those gaps. Hey there, first off, I want to express my gratitude to all of you who have supported me on this journey. Your engagement and feedback have been invaluable in helping me create content that truly resonates with you. But let's not rest on our laurels just yet. We've got a lot more ground to cover, and I want you to come along for the ride. So, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, activate notifications, like, and share my content. That way, we can all stay connected and discover new ways to save on our electricity bills together. I'm also eager to hear your opinions and ideas for future content. Let's embark on this exciting journey together and make a real difference in our lives. Plus, I promise to give you exclusive sneak peeks and behind-the-scenes access to the creative process. So, what do you want to know about next? Let me know in the comments, and I'll do my best to cover it in an upcoming video. And to those who are less than enthusiastic about my approach, let's keep things positive, shall we? Constructive criticism is always welcome, but let's not get bogged down by negativity. Thanks again for your support, and I can't wait to see what we can achieve together. Hey there, I'm back to give you some more tips on how to save big on your energy bills. In the first part, we talked about sealing up those pesky gaps around your frames and doors, but now let's move on to some other ways to keep those bills in check. One of the biggest culprits of high energy bills is old, inefficient appliances. You might not think it makes that much of difference, but trust me, it does. 
Just like an old car that guzzles gas, old appliances can be energy hogs, sucking up electricity and costing you big bucks. Now, I know what you're thinking. But K Waterloo, I can't afford to replace all my appliances. Well, I'm here to tell you that you don't have to. There are a few simple steps you can take to make your appliances more energy efficient. First off, make sure your appliances are clean and well maintained. Dirty appliances have to work harder to do their job, which means they use more energy. So, clean those coils on your fridge, clean out the lint trap on your dryer, and give your oven a good scrubbing. Next, consider using power strips for your electronics. Did you know that even when you're not using your TV, computer, or gaming console, they're still using energy? That's right, they're sucking up electricity even when they're in standby mode. By using a power strip, you can easily turn off all your electronics with one switch, saving you money on your energy bill. And speaking of electronics, let's talk about your light bulbs. If you're still using old, incandescent bulbs, it's time to make the switch to LED bulbs. Not only do they last longer, but they use a fraction of the energy of incandescent bulbs. It's like comparing a candle to a flashlight. One is dim and wasteful, and the other is bright and efficient. Finally, let's talk about your thermostat. You might not realize it, but even a small change in temperature can make a big difference in your energy bill. By turning down your thermostat just a few degrees in the winter, or up a few degrees in the summer, you can save big bucks on your energy bill. And if you're really serious about saving money, consider investing in a programmable thermostat. That way, you can set your temperature to automatically adjust when you're not home or when you're asleep, saving you even more money. Now, I know what you're thinking. But K Waterloo, these are all just small changes. Will they really make a difference? The answer is yes. Remember, every little bit helps. By making these small changes, you can save hundreds of dollars a year on your energy bill. And who doesn't love having a little extra cash in their pocket? So, what are you waiting for? Get started on these simple tips today and start seeing the savings pile up. Trust me, your wallet and your bank account will thank you later. In conclusion, there are plenty of ways to save money on your energy bill and it doesn't have to involve a complete overhaul of your home. By making simple changes like cleaning your appliances, using power strips, switching to LED bulbs, and adjusting your thermostat, you can start seeing big savings on your energy bill. And if you need a little extra motivation, just think about what you could do with that extra cash. A vacation? A new wardrobe? The possibilities are endless. So, get to it and start saving today. Listen up folks. If you're tired of paying sky-high electricity bills and want to take control of your finances, then look no further. My course has got everything you need to reduce your electricity bills and improve your quality of life. Whether you're a beginner or an expert, this course is tailored for everyone and it's chock full of tips, strategies, and knowledge that you won't find anywhere else. And the best part? It's all available in the description link below. But it's not just about you. By joining my mission to reduce electricity bills and contribute to the community, you'll be making a positive impact on the environment and your wallets. Imagine being able to live a sustainable and cost-effective lifestyle while saving money in the process. It's a win-win situation. And if that's not enough, I've got some exciting partnerships with top-notch brands that deal in the space of reducing bills. I can't reveal their names just yet, but trust me, you won't want to miss out on the exclusive information that's available in the description link below. So what are you waiting for? Take the first step towards financial freedom and join my mission today. Click on the link and sign up for the course that will change your life. Welcome back, my fellow money savers. By now, you should have already implemented the tips I've shared with you in the previous two sections. And if you have, congratulations. You're already on your way to reducing your energy bills and saving money. But we're not done yet. In this final section, I want to give you some additional advice on how to make your energy bill reduction efforts even more effective. First things first, let's talk about the importance of monitoring your energy usage. You can't improve what you don't measure, right? So, start keeping track of your energy usage on a monthly basis. This will help you identify any trends or patterns and give you a better understanding of where you can make further improvements. For example, if you notice that your energy usage is still high despite sealing up gaps and replacing old appliances with energy-efficient ones, you may want to consider adjusting your thermostat or changing your habits to use less energy during peak hours. Every little bit helps, and small changes can add up to big savings over time. Now, let's talk about some additional ways you can save money on your energy bills. Have you considered investing in solar panels or wind turbines? These renewable energy sources can significantly reduce your energy bills and even allow you to sell excess energy back to your provider. It's like having your own little power plant, and who doesn't want to be self-sufficient? And speaking of being self-sufficient, have you considered growing your own food? It may seem unrelated to energy bills, but hear me out. By growing your own food, you're reducing the need for transportation and energy usage involved in shipping and storing food. 
Plus, you'll be eating fresher and healthier food, which is always a win-win. It's like killing two birds with one stone, or in this case, reducing two bills with one activity. But let's get back to the main topic at hand, which is reducing your energy bills. Another way to achieve this is by upgrading your windows to double-paned ones. Double-paned windows are more energy efficient than single-paned ones because they provide better insulation and reduce the transfer of heat. It's like adding an extra layer of clothing to keep you warm in the winter, and it works the same way for your windows. And finally, let me leave you with one last piece of advice. Don't be afraid to negotiate with your energy provider. Many providers offer discounts or incentives for customers who are willing to sign long-term contracts or use their services exclusively. So, do your research and see if there's a better deal out there for you. In conclusion, reducing your energy bills is not just about saving money, it's also about being environmentally conscious and doing your part to combat climate change. By implementing the tips I've shared with you in this three-part series, you'll be able to save money, reduce your carbon footprint, and live a more sustainable lifestyle. So, what are you waiting for? Get started today and start reaping the benefits. And don't forget to have fun with it. Who knew saving money could be so empowering and fulfilling? It's been an absolute pleasure sharing my tips, strategies, and knowledge on reducing electricity bills with you all. As an efficiency expert, it's my mission to help people save money without sacrificing their quality of life. By taking my course, you'll gain the skills and expertise to reduce your electricity bills and contribute to a more sustainable future. Joining me on this mission means creating a more cost-effective and eco-friendly community, which is a win-win situation for both your wallet and the environment. And stay tuned for some exciting collaborations with brands that share my passion for reducing bills. You'll find more information in the description link below. But this is just the beginning. I'll be continuing to share more money-saving solutions and tips in my future videos, and I invite you to be part of our smart community by subscribing, activating notifications, liking, and sharing my content. Together, we can create a more efficient and cost-effective world. So, be sure to check out my other videos for even more money-saving solutions and join me on this journey towards a more sustainable future. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.